First, I'm still fighting for my space. I think as a female in this industry, it's constantly proving who you are and are you good enough to be there. And a lot of times people just assume that you're not gonna be good enough. Wow. My journey, honestly, it starts with the love of the game. But he sees this boy who's about to take flight and get out. He's having a great path. I'm a native New Yorker, so to call the garden home is so surreal. And then to work with world-class athletes on a daily basis, there's nothing better than that. I didn't have any female role models in the medical world when I first got into medical school. But when I discovered sports medicine, there really weren't any women in sports medicine. I'm so grateful to have women that have come before me to help ease my path, and I hope that I can do the same for the young ladies coming behind me. Okay, everybody glory to shine. You're always having to outperform yourself, and you're competing with yourself more than you're competing with other people, because you've got to prove that you can be there, which we should just feel confident. And once we are in that role, know that yes, we can do our best, but that we deserve to be there. It's funny, because even now as a woman in this space, I have found myself grappling with this idea of gratitude. And I can remember saying this in college. I was so thankful for the opportunity to play the game that I love, and it afforded me a free education. Was I frustrated that you could blatantly see those inequities? Sure, but I also always kind of rested on, I'm getting a free education, like I'm living my dream. And so now this generation has even challenged me to understand that gratitude doesn't mean you can't demand better of a system. All right, one minute to the studio. Sports and sports television just reflects society at large. And we've got a long way to go just to achieve equity as a society. I think as a woman, I'm literally doing my makeup because if I went on TV without makeup, it would be a thing. The good news is I like looking cute. And if I decide I don't want to look cute, that's fine too. Mm. <laughs> as a woman, I hold myself accountable to being exactly who I am. The last thing I want for any young woman is to look in the mirror and think they aren't enough. At the stage I am in my career, I've really begun to focus on mentoring the young doctors coming behind me. If you're a good role model, your young male and female colleagues are going to realize that women belong here just like the men do. And that makes it easier for the next woman coming along. Five seconds, four, three. Two, one, open shot. I would not trade the skin I'm in and the shoes I wear for anything in the world. And so I never want that to be viewed as anything that should be pitied. In fact, it is my superpower. And I don't know if it is me being naive. I don't know if it's the filters on my Twitter account. But to my face, at least, I have not had that checkered of a path. Besides navigating the no's that are inevitable and pushing through and, and figuring out how to be both patient and persistent, Outwardly, I've been really, really fortunate to work with people that believe in me, that celebrate me, and so I get to show up and be me because that's the only person I can be.